In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a CSV file to the Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Now, as so many things in Salesforce Marketing Cloud, when you're playing with data, um, there's more, often more than one way to do it. In this case, we could upload a CSV file both in Contact Builder as well as in Email Studio. Now, I recall having some issues with um, doing this in Contact Builder in the past. Uh, it just seems the interface in Email Studio works a bit better for me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that one for this uh, video. And first, let's have a look at the data extension that we will be using to actually upload our CSV file into. If you saw um, the previous video, you'll, uh, you'll have seen that um, we created several data extensions, such as this one. And so basically what I would like to do um, is instead of creating records manually, which I also showed you earlier, I want to upload a CSV file into this data extension so I don't have to do manual work. And this data extension, let's go to records. This data extension has four columns, email, first name, last name, active. I'm calling it columns because they're shown here as columns. You may also refer to these things as fields, of course. Now, I actually did create some data um, already for this in uh, simply using Microsoft Excel, and it looks a bit like this. So we have email, first name, last name, active, and then some, uh, some dummy data filled in. Of course, these are not real people. Um, now, um, Salesforce Marketing Cloud accepts CSV files. If you're not familiar with that, I do encourage you to uh, look it up. Um, you can think of it as a dumbed down version of an Excel file and CSV stands for comma, uh, comma separated values and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be creating a file which has values separated by columns. And to do that you want to um, save this file as a CSV file which is the full thing on Excel to do. And once that's ready I've actually saved the file to my desktop. And yes, challenges do make us grow, isn't that true? Uh, but back to the point, uh, more on point is that uh, we have this file here. Um, and one thing I do want to stress is um, not everyone's uh, Excel settings are so that when you save the file as a CSV file that the values will actually be separated by a comma. They may also be separated by other uh, delimiters as they're called. Um, so when you save this file, you want to open it with a very simple text editor because that will show you how it looks like um, in a pure text version. And I'm using the text edit app from Mac here to do this, but you have similar apps on Windows, of course. So this is basically what this Excel, when I save it as CSV, what it looks like in text version is this. So email, comma, first name, comma. It's exactly what we want. We want that comma separated, and this is not the case for everyone. So it's it's very possible, especially if you're in Europe, um, that when you save your Excel as a CSV, it will actually save it with semicolons. So uh, this one. Um, um, I, it, another option is that it's uh, tab delimited. So uh, instead of a comma, having something like this in between the values. Um, in fact, there's no, no right or wrong there, uh, as long as you know what you're doing. But later on, when we're going to upload this file into Salesforce Marketing Cloud, we'll need to specify what the delimiter is, and that's very important. All right, so we have our file, it's saved as a CSV. The delimiter is a comma as we wanted, so we can go back to Marketing Cloud. And I'm still at this data extension that I created earlier, Subscribers Data Extension 2. So what I wanna do here is, I want to click import. Great. And um, now let me talk you through this. So first off, we have to say which file we want to add. I can uh, browse and simply click subscribers here and open this. Uh, we can move on. And so here the delimiter is already comma. So this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Um, you, if you had selected a tab or if you had a semicolon, you can still change it here and do something like that. But uh, we're going to stick to comma and then the date format. So for most people, um, well, for most users, probably this will be fine because you may be located in the US. But of course, for 
um, people outside of the US, you'll definitely want to, um, to double check on this. You'll also want to check exactly how your date format was saved um, in that CSV file. And this is one of the trickier parts of Marketing Cloud that maybe I'll cover in a future video. Uh, now we can also select add an update um, as an import type. Uh, this, is, this is very um, uh, important because if there was already some kind of data in this data extension before, um, this could really have an impact on the data there, right? So for instance, if I'm doing add an update, if there was someone with a matching email address, in this case, it would be updated. I'm saying email address because at an update and update only are, um, or an even at function actually, are um, based on whatever you feel to set as a primary key. If you don't know what a primary key is, please check out uh, my previous videos on how to create a data extension where I briefly cover the subject. Um, most often you'll want to do overwrite in my experience because perhaps there is some data from before uh, but you basically want to start with a clean data extension. It really depends on um, your use case. Right, and then there's two final options. Uh, so skip rows in the import file with bad data. That's generally a good idea. Uh, maybe there is some bad data in your file. Um, and if you would not flag this option, basically the whole import would not happen. And anyway, when you do the import, you'll get a file that, um, you'll get an email notification from Marketing Cloud that um, includes a file with a uh, error lock. So if some uh, uh, rows did not update, you'll see it. Respect double quotes as a text qualifier. Uh, this is something rather specific. If you're adding text values in your CSV file and you've explicitly used um, double quotes every time there is a text value, then you can use this. But I've, um, I find this use case to be more rare. So we're quite happy with this and I'm gonna Go to the next section where we are going to configure the mapping between our um, CSV file and our uh, Marketing Cloud DE. Now, in this case, because we're using comma uh, separated values and because the names of the columns and the um, uh, sorry, the columns in the Excel of the, of the CSV rather and the DE map, it's already done for us. So this is exactly why you want to have comma delimited, uh, comma separated values in that CSV and use the same names if possible. Um, if that's not the case, you may have to switch to map manually where you can individually map fields. Uh, map by ordinal is something else that I have actually used before as well. Um, and it seems to be more useful if you're using other separators than a comma. So if you are using a semicolon or maybe using a tab, um, it may be a good thing to use this feature because sometimes the uh, map by header row will not get the results you, uh, you wanted. Great, I'm going to click next and um, this will just summarize and say to which email address the notification needs to be sent once the import is completed. There we go, import successfully started and then we play the waiting game. So once that import has actually happened, I will receive an email notification that looks something like this. Um, and the key thing here is the following import has completed successfully. Uh, that's what we like to hear. And the results are insert eight. Um, this is pretty important. If you did have bad data in this file or if your mapping was wrong, etc., cetera, uh, it would also be described here and uh, it, will, it would probably include an additional attachment that gives you an overview of the different errors that happened. So if something went wrong here, do have a closer look at that because it will give you the exact information um, to help you solve the issue. So I'm going to close this. Um, back to Marketing Cloud, I'm going to close this. And now these records that I've just uploaded, I don't show here because I, I will need to refresh my browser. So let's do that first. Either refresh your browser or navigate again to the same DE that actually works as well. And there we go. So actually I can already see it worked because under record count I can see eight. Just to be sure, let's have a closer look. Go to the DE, click records, and fantastic. This, these are exactly the 
contact that I want to be uploaded into this DE. Thanks. Hey there, it's Anthony again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to our channel. That way, whenever we put new videos online, you'll be notified automatically. Thank you and have a great day.